Hey guys, and welcome to Man of Medan. This is a brand new game that just came out today, or today of me playing it, not today of me uploading this. And it's made by Supermassive Games, the same company that made the game Until Dawn. So it's going to have the exact same themes that happened in Until Dawn. It is a horror game, a survival horror game, where you've pretty much got to make sure that your characters survive while trying to choose the right options. So it's a choice and consequence game. Between the five characters that you do play, I think I read that there is a total of 69 different ways that the characters can die. So it's going to be very tough to keep these characters alive. I'm, I'm not uh, buoyed by optimism. I don't think I'm going to get all five out, if any, out successfully when they can all die 69 different ways. But it is a shortish game. It's roughly about five hours long, apparently, but that's because it's so much replayability that, like, if you don't choose path B, you choose path A, you know, you miss that entire section of the game, much like Detroit. So there's lots of different ways you can play this game. So I may play it more than once. I don't know. It's also got a co-op mode, so I'm pretty sure I'll be playing it with a friend a second time anyway. Now, as you know, in the corner here, it does say that you can use, like, a controller here. I did have my PlayStation controller plugged in and it still said A to start game. I don't know the layout of a Microsoft or Xbox controller. I've used one uh, once in my life and because there are quick time events in this game there was no way in hell I was using uh, a PlayStation controller with Xbox inputs because I would not get any of the QT correct. And saying that though I've never done quick time events on a PC on a keyboard so I don't know which keys it requires me to press so I don't think I'm going to be any good at the quick time events, purely through not understanding what I need to push. So I think a couple of characters are going to die as a result, but I can't do anything about it. It just it defaults to Xbox, and I don't know why. It does the exact same thing in The Witcher 3 sometimes. Like it, it starts at PlayStation, then one it will just spontaneously change one moment to, to Xbox and then back again. I don't get it. So. I'm just playing with a mouse and keyboard. I don't know if that's a good idea. I will soon find out if I need to change. So we'll just hit space to get into it. That's lovely. Except, oh, it wants me to physically scroll through. Oh, W, skip to end. I like the sound of that. And then we get accept. So I was able to find the key bindings under settings and have changed it from Microsoft Xbox controller options to PlayStation 1. So as you can see down the bottom corner, I have an X as opposed to a A, I, th I think it had. So yay, that's lovely. I would like to play alone this first time. I'll be nice and solitary. Yay, yay me. Without further ado, let's let's give this a shot. <laughs> this is based on the story of the SS Arung Maden. It was a ship in the, as it says down there, in the South Sea. It's an Indonesian myth of a ghost ship. So I'm interested to know what's gonna happen. Theatrical cut, curator's cut. To play the original path through the story, play the alternate path through the story. Unlocked, oh, so I could play it again and get the curator's cut. I wonder what the difference is. I'm sure I could Google it and it would tell me the difference. I'm just gonna turn this volume up because I have no idea what volume we're at. It seems kind of quiet, but that could just be me. Okay, 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 so pumped. Man of the dead. Oh no, okay, soldiers have died. Beautiful. This would explain why there are uh, horror creatures on this ship. Okay, we're seeing a lot of religious relics. Did I need two? Three? I like those lanterns. Hi, strange people I don't know. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Mosey on back to the ship. Okay, sir. Whoa. You are rather drunk. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Oh dear. Can I fight? Hey. They know Chinese? Give me a quarter. 
Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store Joe, for me? Dockside market. Post bubble with two. Okay. Well, I'm glad we get <laughs> introduction. Say nothing curious. Tell me about my son. You have a son? Dubious. Will I be rich? Let's be curious. Uh, how do I use right stick? Uh, oh, right. You hold it. About my son? Gotcha. Will he, uh, is he going to grow up all right? Things going to work out for him? Aren't I a nice father asking about my spawn? Okay, choose dragon or bamboo. Psh, who do you think I am? Dragon tile. It's so weird that it's the right stick. I would prefer if it was the left. You can tell me what you see. I see red. Press that to pick up objects and... Yeah, it's weird using right. I see a fish. Looks like a fish. Looks like a tuna. It, it doesn't look like a tuna. <laughs> that is so vague. Like a mysterious wind. When a wind like this may blow. Death and death is sure. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? For him or his what kid? Does what the hell, man? Traits updated. Which one? He's more insecure than selfless and altruistic and reckless. Is that what it means? I don't know. No matter. Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? He's pretty angry right now, so probably. Five? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Show him his boss. I'll give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Oh god. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, sensitivity. Gotta have to turn this down. Don't make it go faster, honey. Oh no, it's timed. Ah. It's close enough, right? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, quick time, quick time. <laughs> Even though news is a thing, I was surprised when it happened. I've got really poor reflexes, just FYI. Uh, wrong. I see. I, left. I instinctively did left. Stick. Yee! I don't like this. Holy shit, they get faster. Ah, ah, ah. Does it just keep going until you fail? Ah. It's hard because you're using the same thumb. You're using the same thumb to direct and then to do the QTE, so you can't really have it hovering over any particular space. <sighs> if you had the left stick, you'd be able to use both thumbs rather than the one thumb for everything. Hey, I dislike a man's We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. That's great, team. Can I change that, by the way? Controls. Key binding. Aiming. Oh, see, it's locked. I can't change that. That's so dumb. No, I can't change. That is going to be a struggle. Great. Sweet. I'm so glad they made this as difficult oh, as man, possible. Just let me ask another question. We really need. Actually, hold up. I need some um, subtitles. Just totally just occurred to me that they are not on. Need to get back. Which trait was updated? I really don't understand this. Whatever. I liked it in Until Dawn when it was very clear cut about your traits and your relationship. Oh, great. It's 
got a skull crossbones on it. It bodes well. Is it some sort of capital offence to drink while on the job? Why do they drink them if they knew that they weren't allowed to? Hmm. Idiots, the pair of them, I suppose. Oh shit, I would not want to be sailing into that. Oh, we're getting wet. Not the best idea. Ooh! an odour, a, a foggy mist. Great. Okay, so there are four dead. Does that mean there will only be four dead in modern times? Or is it only four dead at this point in time? Why are you sedating him? He's just hung over. Didn't sound good at all. Joe, sick bay, 1.36am, June 22. You look like you've had a tough time there, good old Joe. I'm gonna assume that's your son. Two pops, come back soon. Aww, that's so sad. What else have we got? Nothing much? What's this? Nope, can't interact with whatever that is. <laughs> Holy shit, was not expecting that. What the hell? Why is he in the locker? There's a key, Joe. There's a key. I don't know why this guy's crammed in there, but take the key. I feel like his hand maneuverings are just so awkward. Do we know how this guy died? Just he's dead? Okay. Guess it's probably not your uh, area of expertise. Okay, we can't go towards the camera. Cool, well, let's get out of here. Oops, nope, 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 back it up. Don't care about your kid, we already looked at your kid. Let's get out and die. <laughs> oh, the dude padlocked you in? But how did he die? Infection? I don't know. Wait, it kind of wants me to go that way, but is there anything this way? No. Okay, the movement is still as unfluid. I know it's not a word, but not as fluid as it could be that I noticed in Until Dawn. Don't turn it around. Okay. Because that was the same issue we had in Until Dawn. Stop turning. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. You're not going to mention the dead dude in the How room? Are up there? Heard aircraft. And gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. 
Let's get out of here. And go where? And how long does something have to be dead before you consider it a corpse? Just out of curiosity. Wait, can we go back into his room? You know, shit's happening, and you are walking really, really slowly, buddy. You're gone. Let's stop. Oh, do we need a safe combination? Is there like guns? No, because he's in the brig. There'd be. I don't know why there'd be. Keep going. Don't keep stop starting. It's most vexing. What does this say? John Coleman Fer 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 Ferris. I'm going to assume Sergeant and Private Charles Anderson. So someone's higher than the other. I think John's higher than. So Joe is higher than Charles. In that Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the US Army. Oh, what does it say? Description of the charge, okay. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. Well, they were technically already on the ship, but whatever. Ugh. Why is that in here with Charlie? Charlie, are you sick? Have you had a run-in with this already? Okay, let's go. Let's go, Charlie. How'd you not notice a stain on your wall? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Keep calm. Press that in time with the heartbeat. Okay. That sounds really not fun. This is definitely an interesting new mechanic. It's like a rhythm game! I'm not good at the buttons though. If it was like arm gestures, that'd be fine. I mean, you don't want to startle the man, but you know. You don't want to hide from him. Oh shit, here we go. Oh great, he's loaded and ready to go. Don't budge. The last one. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's not good, but we're good. But he has a gun. You could do with a gun. What the hell? I like how they just keep looking around. <laughs> Oops. Same controlling still. Do you guys even know where you're going? What was that? That was a kid. Is Charlie not going to say anything about it? Did Charlie not see it? Oh no, the gas. Is that the gas? Ooh. Oh, choices. That's where Charlie wants to go, so Joe's going to go this way. Hey, Charlie. Oh shit. Help. Maybe I was supposed to follow Charlie. Now you're both gonna die, because I didn't go the other way. I don't want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I not fast enough for you? That's fine. Let's get back this way. <laughs> I didn't realize I was kind of like on a timer. Come on. Keep going. The lockers? No, just this door. Is it a choice of door? No, it's just locked. Okay, I take that back. Never mind. Let's go. I am ready to go this time. Come on, Charlie. I'm sorry, Charlie, that I didn't get the first time around. Yep. Hi. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Foo bar and that song. <laughs> dead person do you have a gun I'm, I'm in much need of a gun he, he doesn't have a gun do you have a gun apparently not okay well, whatever god damn another stiff who's the lucky oh damn it Buckley Last time I wow. saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. That is an or expression fuck. and a half. The fact that his hands are stuck like that. 
most peculiar. And can't move any further. Sorry, Buckley. Bye, Buckley. Interesting angle. A very creepy angle. Oh, can we go down? Nope, probably not. He doesn't want to go that way. His arms don't move when he walks. It's really creepy. Hold L1. L1? What kind of button? This, the controls are really weird in this game. Uh, let's just follow Charlie. We can probably investigate stuff, but I'm afraid I'll die so, if I investigate. Uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? You're only just starting to get it? He likes to talk about his feelings. <laughs> you look like a mess <laughs> on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> jumped and hit L1. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at horror games. Okay. Hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? I'm sweating profusely. Thank you for asking. Okay, when in doubt, <laughs> hit L R1. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing shining here. Oh, sorry. L1 to walk faster. My bad. Get over here. Why? It's just another dead lot of people. Do they have guns? There is a gun right there. Oh shit. Do they have like rigor mortis immediately? Because all their expressions are horrified and they seem frozen that way. Yeah, personally, I might have taken the knife. Actually, you want me to try and aim? Really, with these backwards controls? Good luck with that, bruh. Good luck. Should've just stuck with the mouse keyboard. <laughs> What's with the kid? It's kinda weird. Are you just trying to get off the ship? Why are you not looking for like off? Hey, come here. You, you don't want the kid to come here. Trust me. That went out well. Oh God, no, Charlie! What? That happened in like a second. You didn't even see it, Charlie. <laughs> Creepy, creepy child. I don't think I'm gonna get to sleep tonight. I shouldn't be playing this at night time. Very bad idea. Oh, he's got Charlie's knife. Yeah. Nope, wrong button. That button. Oh, it's going through him. Or are you just a really shit shot? Ooh. That's really gross. Oh, he's been taken over. Oh, do they have heart attacks? Okay. Interesting. So guns won't pierce the kid. And he instantly, like, gives you a heart attack. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? I thought Come the SS Orang Madan was an Indonesian ship. Maybe it's just lost in Indonesian waters. And... It's like some research on this anyway. Well, you just lost your uh, Mayday call. Holy shit, that thing's got multiple arms. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. I don't think it's gonna help you, so I'm sorry. You seem like a very nice man. Oh! Oh, I thought he lived, but alas. Oh, look how realistic those teeth are. Well, that's great. Ghost thingies. You're now stuck on a ship in the middle of nowhere. I'm curious how the lightning brought them to life. Ooh! I like these songs. It was good in the Until Dawn. Is 
the same song, just by a dude. Won't you me over to year. Just a weird rhythm as well. Exact same song. No, the Until Dawn version was better. Oh, okay, we're a rock version. Sean Ashmore. I thought it looked like him. He was the dude from Animorphs back in the day. And one of the X-Men movies. Pretty sure that's him. I don't know either of you. I don't know either of you. Ooh, that's a creepy picture. Ugh. Well, what is this that I can see with that I mean, this is a cool version of the song, but I find the one from Until Dawn was, like, actually chilling. It was pretty freaky. Whereas this doesn't evoke any emotion. It makes me want to dance. Well, that's just wrong. No one can beat the psychologist from Until Dawn. He was just a top, top character. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out what this guy's like. I don't remember what his job is, but he sort of is the overarching plotline of all these dark anthology games that are about to come out over the next few years. He's a connecting element. But I, I don't know what you are. What is he? Wow, that's bright. Jesus, I don't know what his profession is. I haven't done too much research on this, guys. I've just watched the trailer and read an article or two. Hello. Hi! And welcome. Thank you. I like you. Repository. Are you a curator of some kind? Are you going to tell me a story? I like the classical music. I dig it. I dig the skull as well. I am the curator. He's a curator. The okay. curator of stories. Okay. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Mm -hmm. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering I mean, continue to flourish a bit odd from a realistic perspective but <laughs> snuffed out ooh i like that i hope they won't i hope they all survive you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody. Yeah, but you obviously hope Still, it comes later rather than sooner. None of us want sooner. for it to come too exactly. soon. Do we? Not at all. Do I get to respond at all? As oh, in God. life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Oh. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible Oh, these are like the totems from Until Dawn. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. I don't know that the totems really help them Until or Dawn, though. Or should I say, decisions that result like in the adult. outcomes you would prefer. Are you That's suggesting that moment. an outcome would be preferable we'll talk again to another enough. outcome? We'll have the opportunity to Other than account death? for all the actions that you've taken. Fantastic. Or whatever mess you've made. Let me, you know, take moments of peace from the stress. And so it begins. It's a lovely sky. I'm going to assume it's sunrise and not sunset because nobody takes a trip at like night on the water. <laughs> you leave in the morning. Brad. Witty, Alex's brother, innocent. French pon 
Polynesia. I didn't see the time or date. So it's called the Duke of Milan. Are you Alex? Yeah. Motivated? Brad's brother. Jilly's boyfriend. Insecure. Insecure? Why? It's not a very attractive trade, we FYI. Enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. <laughs> so, uh, look. I've never been down there. Who's the eldest? Alex? Yeah. The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are You've you never dived before? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm concerned kinda, about. Yeah. I ain't good. Say nothing. Insecure. It's embarrassing. Shit, time's running out. Resentful, I had to work. Insecure! It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> uh... Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Okay, there you go. Julia that took me there ages. Are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Why does Julia's money affect you? I was invited. Not good with people. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> okay. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Okay. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... Snappy? <laughs> in medical school would be stressful, you know? Totally you're in shocked. medical school. And, man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Why are you doing long distance? Say nothing cynical. It's been two weeks. <laughs> oh, I was yeah, so tempted. You. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? So tempted. <laughs> yep. Right on I cue. can't believe it's what? only been two weeks. That's Conrad just embarrassing, Alex. Enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. If they're bringing some booze, may as well hide your own. Secret stash. Traits updated. So my relationship with my brother is only slightly better than average. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty balanced in innocent, truthful, witty, but less envious. Okay, I'm not anxious necessarily, nor am I eager. I thought he was quite eager, but sure, hey. why not? Yo. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, Depends what? on what it is. Uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying why to make a decision about. Links? You can propose to Julia, are you? School? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice. You're proposing, you know? aren't you? I don't know what's the right thing to do. So why are you asking me? Sentimental, go with your gut. Cautious, give it some thought. Oh, mean. Sentimental, cautious. Go I don't know. They're gut. both very good ideas. If it's right, you'll know. Bearing updated. Brad told Alex to follow his gut. Oh, shit. What's that going to mean? Oh, it is a proposal. Yeah, well, I suppose that was pretty obvious. Okay, that's a concern. Is it? Is it? Is it? Hmm. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey! You look weird. Excited. Comrade's sister. Oh, so we've got two lots of siblings. She's reckless. He's full hearty and relaxed. It's so... You know, no, no. I rethought what I was going to say. I like her top. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, so, Connie, so, this is, is Alex. Connie. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Bro hug. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Oh, he's so awkward. It's great. <laughs> hey, man. Want to crack a colon with me? Every second. Sure. Uh, Why the hell not? Say nothing. Relaxed. Yeah, cool. Apprehensive. I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Bro, I get so sick. Yeah, cool. Let's not say that. Tight. I, I, I love beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. Oh, okay. Our, our relationship with Alex has improved, but I don't know about Comrade. It's still the same. <laughs> oh, traits updated. Oh, no. I became more envious in like two seconds flat. How did that even happen? <laughs> I struggle right with on, it. Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Radical. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. <laughs> you ever do any diving before? I like Brad. 
Gloomy, never. Self-assured. All the time. No, that's not a lie. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. I'm sure it'll be magical, Ninja. comrade. Uh... Magical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Yeah, she looks real crust bucket. Captain the Duke Milan, courageous and impatient. What's our relationship with anybody on this boat? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Do we maybe not know each other? And we've just, like, paid to rent the uh, ship? You're selling, I'm buying. She is definitely impatient. Goodbye, bottle. Rip. It's a very strange way to introduce her character. I still don't get her relationship with anybody, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll learn in due course. Oh god, look at those ab muscles. I'm surprised, Julia. Oh shit. <laughs> Brad. You're gonna. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. <sighs> You, uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're now in control of Alex. 5.30, 5 in the afternoon? Looks like midday. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Optimistic. Brad did his homework for sure. No, let's be optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I get it. I'm just hide saying, we don't have unlimited so. daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Okay, so it's not what a pleasure got? cruise. It's a uh, business of some kind. Oh, his eagerness is going down. Interesting. Feast I thought optimism would help that. Oh, wow. Where'd you get that? Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Split! We found a plane! Oh, yeah. do you already yeah, have cameras like in the water? Two. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look at those brows. Annoyed, who cares, disappointed, can't dive. Um, say nothing. We don't always have to Guys, uh, say anything. no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right Typical way. rich chick. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look. I'm okay with that, Fliss. Who's gonna know? I'm, I'm not gonna judge you for that. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Yeah, good luck with I that. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Bliss is not happy. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Okay. If you demand it, oh, very, very evil, Julia. She's not evil. She's just strange. Hmm. I don't think there might be a way in. What is this? Qualified diving instructor for Felsite Dubois. Okay, 5'8. Taller than me. She is a lot older than me. Not really surprised. Okay. Cool. You, you can you can put it down now, dude. Can we speak with Fliss? Yo, Fliss! What up, girl? Oops. I didn't quite get to Fliss. Don't touch anything! Um, Do you know how to use that? Can you please put uh, that back on? <laughs> no. I was accidental. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Yeah, I agree with that. Can we turn it back on? No, I want to... <laughs> 
doesn't turn it back on. Shit, I hope it doesn't make it a, a problem later on. Now I can't talk with her. Oh, god damn it. Anyway, get down there. See you, brother. Okay. I suppose it's about time we learn the layout of the ship. Is it the bathroom? Or is it a bedroom? What's up? How you doing? Why is that Sorry, so that brewski got the better of me. Synthetic, don't worry, Stern. You should know about it. No, no, let's be... Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong joystick. Hey, <laughs> all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Do you have any seasick tablets on you? Because that'll be practical. Aren't you nice? You're an awesome brother. What's this? Hello? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Shroud of Innocence. She brought perfume? This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. You bought it for her? Oh my gosh. No, yeah, okay, a book. Shroud of Innocence. A must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. A.P. Uh, Davis, yeah, Davis the Herald. T.S. Hartley. Yeah, I'd read that. Don't know how I feel about you rifling through Julia's shit, but, you know, I'd read that. Okay, buddy, let's go. Let's go diving. Oh, that's right, you can walk faster. I forgot for like all of two seconds. Ooh, picture, picture, picture. Huh. What am I looking at here? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, this is one of those pictures. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Why is my mouse like totally on the screen? View premonition. Who's that? Oh. I don't really get it. I get that he's hiding in the first part there. But he stands up. Is that good? Is that bad? Why? I don't know. So I'm supposed to be looking for photos. Right. Like, I totally was told that and I've forgotten already. Okay, you can't walk close to that bench. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a trap door. What does this trap door do? Nothing, apparently. Okay, well, maybe that comes relevant later on. Still can't talk to Fliss? No, I can. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh... Nope. We're going the uh, nice route, guys. Yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... Rich. Entitled. We've been planning <laughs> this whole thing for a while now. I strong. I get it. But there are rules. And laws and hey customs. Guys, tanks are ready. Tanks these alive. rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I don't know. Do I have any? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Okay. Oh. Uh, I like neither of those options. I am saying nothing. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. I mean, at least I wasn't a dick. <laughs> it's gonna count for something. Oh, good. My relationship with Fliss and Parade. I Am I following the top bar or the bottom bar? I think it's the top bar. What's the difference between the bars? I think the top and the bottom was what it was. Maybe? It's my relationship with Brad and Fliss has improved. That makes sense. Okay. Let's go chat to Mabu. If I can get out the freaking door. Okay, that, that that works just fine. Okay. That's a pretty good shot. Is there more than just... Not sure what I'm looking at slash looking for, but okay. At least we're getting an idea of what it looks like without being down there. 
so what shipwreck is this? Or oh, so shipwreck, plane wreck. Which which plane? And how do we know it exists? How did Alex? Nope, Brad find it. So many questions, so few answers. Do do you see anything? Why does that mouse keep coming up in the side of the screen? Oh shit. Sorry, I was wondering if I could zoom. Oh, I can. It's just not really necessary at this point in time. I can't see anything anyway. On the horizon. Oh yeah, you can go back now. Kudos to you for being safe, buddy. Look at the texture of that fabric. Nice. Okay, Julia. You want to dive? Let's go dive. Okay, so... This is the rebreather, way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. And it'd be okay. lighter too, wouldn't it? O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Playful, appreciative. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Oh, hey, really? That's my sister. I know, right? You know it. Dear God. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? <laughs> I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, like it was blowing? Nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. With an explosive? Okay, or that just clown fishes? How it... We can go huh. see what Fliss is up to. You behave, huh. Connie. Okay. These people are interesting. Uh, I don't know what they are. What's the difference? A camera and a and a and a what? What is it? I don't even know what it is. I got the bang stick. Oh, I heard that about you. Bang uh -huh. stick. You ever have to use one? Please. On a shark? Nope. Oh. Um. Practicality. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Dear God. That was a scary and terrifying smile, Julia. 